Anyway, guys, I hope you appreciated our little tangent into our backlog of unlocked cards and tokens to grind and scenarios we didn't understand yet and stuff like that. Now we're back to making proper... What? How did I get there? Oh, pressing down on the... Oh! I guess the top left corner is the menu, so if you press down, you go to campfire from campaign. Interesting. Huh. Kind of surprised they don't just jam it in the menu or something. Like it has a whole piece of this of the main campaign screen dedicated to it. So now I have unlocked a significant number of tokens. Uh, I have finished Malaclipse's quest chain. I have killed Colbjorn. Uh, I have a variety of things going on here. There's still more I can do, but you know, diminishing returns at some point. And uh, if I do some more of these scenarios, I'll unlock more cards that I need to try out slash get tokens for. So once I do that, then I'll have more stuff to make my runs more complete for like grind stuff in the future. So temperance. Apparently it's got booze. Wow, she's just pouring it out. During the worst famine in the history of the Empire, an unnatural power is causing the dead to rise and stock the land. An undead run? Destroy the source of the undead. The famine has made food scarce. Avoid starvation. So I need to add food gain cards to help survive. And I need to kill the undead, basically. This, ga this gives me very little... They give me no clue, really, about how to get the gold, based on that description. Oh well. Fighting undead, they're easy. Maybe they'll add a new bonus dude that's really hard, but I doubt it. Let's see. I should bring the blacks... Eh. It kind of just depends on whether or not I want to try to do the, uh, uh, make progress or not. If I bring the magician, then we can't make any progress, but he's just, you know, he's just powerful, which is nice. His new thing is... Yeah, his magic shield causes damage to nearby enemies when hit. Now, yeah, let's... Let's just focus on succeeding. Like I usually do with these challenges, instead of trying to care about tokens. So I'll stick with that. Toshers. That's like the one new card I don't know the, the role of yet. There's also these nightmares. Not sure when I'm gonna get around to those. I'll have to, pick, I'll have to see what what brimstone thing they might work for. Dealing with thieves, is, it's fine. Oh, Merchant's favor is pretty good. Knocks out your companion. That's why I felt like nothing happened. Is because there was no companion companion to knock out. This one will just give you two blessings, which is pretty great. Max life, maiden. Only one ma only one platinum card. Let's do blessings. Nothing else gives me food so much out of these groups, does it? This gives you gold. The main can give you some oh yeah, it should give you two food gain cards. Let's do that then. Let's make it all about those food cards. Fabled Beast, you gain food and blessings and stuff based on some challenges. Could try that. One Drunken Knight's just easy stuff in general. Tarts, Pies, Exotic Lies. Waterfall of Youth. Those are all good for this. I've done those gain cards. Let's do... Special... That's a blessing for food. I'm not. No, let's not do. A, let's not do the food trading one. But I threw in temple prayers because that can give me a blessing. This one gives you. You do a chance card, which then lets you get either blessings or resources. But you can also get one curse is thrown in there. Huh. Let's go for. Uh, Equipment cards. Ooh. Oh, you trade helm to reveal the map. Why does it say specific? I thought this was a tree for being able to pick a specific card. Caravan robbery is always pretty good. Fallen treasure is pretty alright. Does fallen treasure have to be a weapon? No, it's just anything. This is one, one picked at random. 
Illicit trade is a dickish fight. No, let's not deal with that one. Buy some northerners to get some equipment. Sure, that's not so bad. Spider trap. Stirring in the mire. That one, I always get screwed over and don't get to have the reward at the end. This one gives you equipment, but it's crap. <laughs> Just need to pick one more. Empire Fort's pretty good. Eh. Just throw a general store in there. I don't know if there'll be any in this scenario. That's reasonable. Alright, so equipment for the entire scenario. Colbjorn's sword is it's a good item, but there's not going to be northerners unless they happen to randomly throw one at me. But it's a good weapon. Well, it's a 16 damage weapon. It's it's the same as always, basically. Freaking undead is so irrelevant. I, is there a single one that gives me undead? I, uh, Archer's Bane. I think undead might have crossbows sometimes. Exquisite. Is that the undead one? No. Sacrificial blades. Can I type? Resources. Get. Combat. Undead. There we go. Holy mace. Bonus damage against undead. Two handed heavy mace. Sacrificial blades. Bonus damage against undead. I do holy mace. Holy pure. Yep. Holy purification is the anti undead bomb. Dark groove ring. The rate of enemies heal is reduced. Undead just do less damage. That's obviously good for this. When skeletons reanimate, they drain life from enemies around them. Yes. There we go. I think I'm happy to see that they let you sort by that so you can find those things. I wasn't sure if you'd be able to. Yeah, I only I put one scenario in that makes me fight northerners technically, but I don't think Colbjorn sword is generally a reasonable thing to throw into this one. Uh, I don't have a shield, but holy mace might make it pointless to have a shield anyway. I need armor for sure, and maybe some more rings. Uh, food is scarce, so I should definitely throw in pious robes, just in case. Don't have a platinum yet. Lionheart's always just good to throw in there then. Yeah, let's put that, put that in there. Can use it to heal even if I'm not equipping it, because I might want the other one equipped for fighting the actual enemies. Gambler's Jewel's always good. <laughs> I just... It's just nice to have a bonus on those damn rolling things. Shared pain. That's pretty good. That's a really good one. I might go for that one. Let's do it. Being able being able to dis discard your companion for three turns to just not get hit by a pain card. That's really powerful. If the if the pain is if the pain card's unlucky enough, like you know, it's going to take away all of the, your food. <laughs> this is a pretty good example. Questing Mace 2. It's for Corrupted, so that's not relevant right now. I can learn what you are. Maybe it happens to be relevant. You never know. The Thief one. I don't think any of these are going to be relevant to the scenario, right? Food's always good because it's going to be scarce. Gold could help with the food scarcity, potentially. Allow me to buy some. Worker's hammer is a reasonable weapon I could just pummel people with. Oh, let's start with that. And some leather armor, perhaps? Alright, let's fight some undead. This could be interesting. The Empire works against its own people, yet none of it matters. There will be no uprising as long as they are fed. Yet, take away their bread. And even the most peaceful begin to consider the songs of revolt. Is this floor a straight line? Okay. Desperate times. The innkeeper joins you at your table. I have some information. The reaper was paid up front by a halfling known as Garrick Drowkin. Garrick Drowkin? The place was apparently an entire 
The price was apparently an entire cartload of gold. He made the contract and then left the city. Ask about Garrick. A mercenary. He was employed by the Imperial Army for several years until they wiped out the halfling kingdoms. Since then, he works for the highest bidder. How many entire races and of people have been wiped out? Like, this empire is so comically evil that it's crazy. The innkeeper pauses as, yeah. as a group of Imperial soldiers enter. He relaxes when they sit at a table and order drinks. Ask where Garrick may be found. He was last seen on the road to Bri uh, Bridgemord Village, a farming village in the Outer Provinces. The whole area is up in arms with this famine going on. If you want my advice, the innkeeper, the innkeeper offers, you should leave the city. Forget this life of death and glory. Find peace in whatever far off land you can before your enemies catch up with you. You know what calamity will befall. Who knows what calamity will befall when they find out you're still alive. Depart for Bridgemore Village. Yeah, I think I'm most inclined to bring Malaclips and his super powerfulness on with my, uh, with me whenever I go into any of these tough challenges. Because every challenge is getting tougher and tougher and harder to even survive at, so I don't think I really want to spend one-tenth of my encounter deck on a companion's potentially missable or often punishing progression. Like, one of the ways of, ma of getting past the blacksmith's next challenge is to give the guy food, and the only way to continue the other character's challenge is to have- is to give away a huge sum of food, and like, these are like- These are things that hurt you during a run, usually. But Malaclips won't hurt me. Ooh, we're gonna open- Wow. Really. Really. We're just gonna open this run with me getting Lionheart in the first step. Holy crap. Alright, let's see if I take damage. Careful now. Well, that was easy. I get Lionheart. Wow. The first... The first card! That's his general store. So general stores were built into the... Okay. So there are general stores in this scenario. And uh, you can apparently buy food at them. Oh my god, but the food's super expensive because of the famine. All right. I mean, yeah, I was I was about to call them out on it if it wasn't expensive. Because I was like, let's see if they do this attention to detail correctly, because this is, they we're having a famine right now. The holy mace. Uh, it would be nice, but it costs 38. I'm going to have to get that via a draw card, hopefully. I would like all of these cards. But I can only sell... I can sell Lionheart for 20, technically, and that, that still wouldn't be enough. Alright, what do you do? Critical Strike. 225% damage after 8 hits. Ignore defense. Ooh. Full damage on enemies regardless of defense. That's pretty good. Bash 40 enemies of 40 Empire enemies as they block to unlock this token. An ant an anti an anti-empire weapon. Not relevant to the scenario, but that's good to know about for sure. Anyway, that store is not gonna work out for me. The waterfall of youth. Let's just get the other happy vial right off the bat, why don't we? There we go. Alright, well I get you too then. That'll be useful, because if I start starving, then I can book it for the door, and the do I'll get healed every time I go change floors. But also, I get food in this scenario where you need food. The people need food, and they turn to you because their leaders have failed them. The land itself has failed them. This is where the challenge comes, right? So I'm, I'm betting that you're going to constantly have to give away food in, or in order to, for the villagers to survive. And that affects what happens, but then you're starving yourself, and that's a problem. But if I can get, if I can get, I put the pious robes in the, in the deck, right? If I get those, then uh, I can undo the effects of starving on myself, which means that we can do this much better. But I have to draw it. You're surrounded by hungry armed villagers. A few push forward to confront you, while many more hang back out of harm's way. Oh, are they attacking me? Uh, give them two food. Every food you donate will feed two angry villagers. So yeah, let's give them two food and they'll go away. You hand out some food, a few villagers grab what they can and run off. 
Having dealt with those villagers who are most aggressive or desperate, and our, the remaining mob reluctantly allow you to leave. You lose two food. Oh, that didn't... Oh, villagers. And it's, oh yeah, it's counting how many of them are lost. Right. I was expecting the number to change. Like, hey, look, I saved them, but no, that's not how this works. I have to keep it at zero the entire run. Okay, so yeah, I need to not kill any villagers. Seek, but do not starve. A moonlit journey. An uneasy silence fills the air on a moonlit night, prompting you to continue your journey without stopping to, uh, to camp. What does this mean? Okay. So the the journey is prompting me to not camp. Continue? Although you keep one hand on your weapon for the entire journey, nothing reveals itself as a threat. Okay. Yay, except it doesn't matter, but still good to have. The well fed Immediately. The hungry always seek a meal. Uh, this is gonna be a problem. You hand out the food. Having dealt with them, some same, same, same. Okay, come on, man. Uh, claim you have no food? Try to push your way through. The crowd moves forward, tearing at your clothes and packs. Ow. Oh, so all they do is hurt you? Ow, my max life. Okay, they hurt you a lot, to be fair. Fuck me. What the fuck? What the fuck? <laughs> Slain. In time, you will gain the skills you need. There are still many who can be saved. Jesus Christ. I went from full health healthiness to dead in one action where there was no gambit and no warning of how bad it was. Like there was like, it just fucking happened. Like you lose. I just instantly lost. That's the thing that can happen in this game. What the fuck, man? How much food do they expect me to have? Was that just bad luck? Was I supposed to not find... Was, it, was I supposed to do other scenarios too a little bit and not just that one over and over again? Or am I supposed to push past the first ones and then feed the other ones or something? Jesus. Wow. Resources, food. All right, uh, get rid of temple prayers for... Uh, yeah, it's too bitter winter. It's supposed to... Uh, I don't know what that one is. I can never remember it, though. That can give you food. Gain food, but there's an ambush. Okay. I don't need general store. Distressed damsel. Just, I'm getting rid of anything that doesn't give you food. Because apparently that's just how crazy this is going to get. Rate of prevention for... I just, I don't know if it, if, if it is the friendly innkeeper affected by the famine economy. So I don't know if it's reasonable to buy food if it works that way. Uh... Fallen treasure for raider ambush. Everything gives me food now, right? Yeah, caravan, caravan robbery also does that. All right, so every every single card in my entire deck now at least can give me food. We'll see if it does. Son of a bitch. Oh yeah, we, we're, we're gonna want something else here. I never even met an undead, by the way. This, this scenario about fighting undead, never even saw one undead. Um, let's get rid of Archer's Bane. I'm gonna add this one. Look at me being sneaky here. Oh my god, how many cards do I have now? 
Uh, damage inflicted by from pain card reduced by five. So uh, that's that's me. That saves me five health for every single one of those. Ring of food. Get two food instead of something else. Probably want that too. It's just so little food, unfortunately. Exquisite blade. Oh, I didn't bring my my giant money shield with me. I should have brought that. Reduced pain. I'll get rid of Gambler's Jewel to get Ring of Food. Can't believe how well that encounter started out. I started off with Lionheart. <laughs> Presumably, I could have healed myself from so many bad things, but it did me. It did a hundred damage to me without me having a single input in the middle to even potentially use my item that could heal me for 150. <laughs> That's crazy. Ah, uh, what do I discard? Let's discard Band of Faith. Just, I'm, I'm bringing everything that can help me with food. Which involves also getting the two things that can be sold for a bunch of money. There we go. I didn't want to lose any of the other cards is the issue. I could just stick with it. I don't think I have a card that'll, that wants me to fight undead specifically. Maybe healing spirits? I might need that. And also maybe just any money I can get. Just, just gonna be co co just totally pious, like not dealing with any... I'm not dealing with any stuff that makes me more powerful at all. This entire deck is just about getting a bunch of food, and that's mostly it. <laughs> Yay. I can't believe they killed me in one card with no- nothing. Do you draw two pain cards per villager that's in the group, basically? And since there was four of them, I- Wait, no, there was four cards. The kingdoms of it was four cards with two of toil each. So was it- was it drawing eight- not for our old suits, Was it drawing eight pain? He's driven the deathless from his lands. The farmer wrings his hands nervously as he fights his pride. I don't suppose you can spare my family some food. We have very few supplies for the winter. We'd be most grateful. Yeah, so do you gain food? So I'll give... I mean, if I give eight, I'll just start starving right now. For food? This will certainly hold my family through the cold of winter. Please return. I would like to repay you come harvest time. So the way this works is that... He's added to the encounter deck, at which point he will, like, double- I think he doubles your food. I think that's how that works. But I think this is gonna end poorly for me. I have to wait till the next floor. We'll see. But I imagine I'm gonna encounter villagers on this floor, and they're gonna need my food, and then I'm going to just, uh... Oh, look, his hand's all glowy, just like they said. I guess you- I guess you can see it through the glove. Maliclips. He often comments that the- as brushes with death go, his was most convenient. He needed a new spellbook anyway. Maliclips' protective barrier will now explode on impact, damaging enemies around it. Speaking of which... I did not change targets. But, it, but they did anyway. There we go. Wow, my damage feels so low. You're running out of friends. That. There we go. 
I think I avoided damage. I took one hit, but I was bubbled at the time. All right, search for spoils. I need that food. Uh, oh, shit. Shit. Lose 25 gold? Are you serious? All right, well, I think I'm... Frankly, I think I'm removing both of those cards from my deck. Because win Bitter Winter is just too... I don't think Bitter Winter works with the scenario very well. Because of the... The, it's it's fine if you're just using food normally, but the way they rip food out of my inventory, the bitter winter probably won't have time to pay off. And then a raider's ambush, the the con, it's such it's such a shitty gamble of whether or not you're actually going to get a good reward. Wow, you again. Welp, I lose it you too, but I get the food, so that that's good. And now they want my stuff. Claim you have no food. Try to push your way through. One. Two. Three. Four. What? You do what you can to protect yourself without hurting anyone and flee. You hope that they manage to find food somewhere somehow. You lose Malaclips for three turns. God damn, that's punishing. So just doing the weakest one that was only two cards... And yeah, they, they drew four pain cards, so I believe the number of pain is equal to the number of toils that, they, that are in the group. Just that alone takes out half my health. No max health loss this time, but you also lose Mount Clips. So it's a really shitty time all around. Well, great. Hey, a general store. Let me guess, everything's incredibly expensive. Yep. Hey, look. Those things. And all I have is healing spirits, which I should probably use before I die. Is healing? Healing's the same price as normal, as normal, I think. I have no money, anyway. I should probably heal, because if I take one step in the wrong direction, I just straight up lose. A weakened traitor accepts your offer of warm fire. He looks over his shoulder into the still night. He sells the exquisite blade. Yeah, no. And he has no he has no food to sell either. The stillness of the night of the night air only serves to heighten your sense of dread as you sit warming your chilled bones. Should I stick to seventy and hope it works out? For food, Ooh. I understand. Might get some food here. Ah. Uh, followed following its huge tracks, you find the monstrous white boar by the river. You stealthily approach as he sharpens his single tusk on a boulder. When he senses your presence, he grunts in the common tongue. With a strange, lilted accent, spare this old blood, blessed mortal. Wow. Okay. So you can find the fabled beast and he speaks. Uh, but killing him probably gives you food. But let's spare him and see what happens. You lower your sword. The boar watches you with sad, red eyes before bowing cautiously. For fame. Second wind in combat bo boost life to 75 when life drops below 25, then discard this card. Food though? I need food. <laughs> you continue hunting until the sun begins to set, then haul your kills back to the farmhouse. Ursus paces in front of a pile of dead beasts as the farmer tallies your kills. Uh, 15 is going to be really fucking hard to beat. Uh, <laughs> that's pretty bad. What is my luck with dice lately? I just roll like all ones on a regular basis in an, a, a, like an improbable frequency. I'm trying to feel like, the, like he has just a, he doesn't roll the dice enough for it to be properly random, which is a little frustrating.
I don't know if I should accept a 14 even, a 4 even. Yeah, no. Well, there's a 1. I ro out of 6 dice, I rolled 3 1s. That's how my luck works, apparently. <sighs> Ursus has you beat by 6 beasts. Ursus is the winter. The winner. I'm grateful to you both. My fields will be safe once more, says the farmer, embracing his precious flock of sheep. Wow, I just get nothing, except that one... That one... I didn't get any food is the problem. I got a blessing, which is cool and interesting, but the blessing does not help me with the whole scenario I'm actually in right now. You know what? We're just gonna continue forward. That's a good thing. Some of those things behind me... I probably missed out on one of my encounter cards, maybe even one that gives you food, but... I would guess that two, at least two of those cards were probably still hungry peasants. Distressed Next damsel. Bring more I will food. assist the woman. And it will to it'll totally work out great. Why can't things work for me? I need to increase it by three. That means this has to be a five or a six. Or is it a better chance to try to reroll this one also? I don't think so. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you, the woman says, as you help her from her carriage. Please accept this as a token of my gratitude. Food, 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 food. That's not- No. No. Fuck. Ten gold, which is worth one food. And a healing potion that's worth nothing. God damn it. Hey, the maiden! Oh my god. Oh my god, supplies. This should bring you the greatest nourishment and sustain you for d several days, she says with a twinkle in her eye. Yes. Yes. Alright, that wasn't amazing, but it was okay. It, uh, didn't draw me a 10 or anything. One drunken night. This is also good news. Oh my god, if the next tile is me going to the next floor, then this is fantastic news where I just... I might have dodged all the peasants on this floor. Or maybe the next tile is not the way to the next floor, in which case... Uh, it's gonna be a mad gamble to figure out how to get there. The exit's on the left, I think. No, it's all the way there in the back. Oh, there's only one food chest. It's probably only gonna have one food in it. Ow. I'm, I don't know what was wrong with me there. I just completely screwed up the entire idea of what I was doing, basically. Oh. It's fine. Oh, it's two food, at least. Ow. God damn it. I got stuck on the corner. Alright. I should not be taking hits. I've really messed this up. There's another one down there. One to go. Oh, that was close. And that's it. I believe that's it. Don't roll into it. There we go. And minor damage. That's what makes the scenario so profitable and so low risk, is that even if you screw up and take a hit, it's only 5 health. Meanwhile, you're probably making 20 gold and, f and 2 food or something? You follow the stairs upward until you you emerge in a forest, the morning sun burning your eyes. That's the, yeah, the hangover thing. So I want to spend my money on a food, but I'm holding out on the idea that I might find tarts, pies, and exotic lies and be able to buy, like, a ton of food. Shit. Shit. Alright, you're not the exit. That worries me. Because that now I'm wondering where the exit is. What if it was the first step? In which case, I'm going the total wrong way. So far, I've not encountered any peasants, though. Which is fantastic. Oh my god, there's so many of them. 
And this is my card that I put in here on purpose? That's unfortunate. Ow. Hello, friend. I was wondering where you were. Ow. Oh man, I do not have a weapon that's good for carving my way through this group of enemies. And there's just so many of them. Oh shit, I was all ready to do my execution. Malaclips, bubble. No, bubble, bu no! Oh god. Oh, he did bubble me, cool. That guy's down. That. Uh, I wanted to hit the guy that I was actually working on. There we go. Bubbled. Nope. Yeah. Kind of a lucky fumble back there. Ah! There we go. Oh, he's not dead yet. He straightened up, which usually means they're dead. But it was just him getting hit from behind, I think. Joke's on you! God, this is a 500 hit con- It takes so long to get through these guys. Can you rebubble me? Good. Oh, there was no one in range because he died. Ow. Took more damage than I should have. I should probably use my potion just in case. Otherwise, if I walk uh, into villagers, I could I could just die. <sighs> Continue on your journey. I want to search for spoils, but the punishment for for the miss miss choosing on that card thing is severe fucking lose 25 gold what <laughs> what is that nonsense man i'm getting that card right out of my deck and never using it again <laughs> basically